for Jesus Christ. Sisters and brothers, well, obviously, we take turns in celebrating the Mass here in the Shrine. Uh, but probably also notice that um, this past weeks or around two weeks, no, uh, there are very few priests here celebrating because some are assigned in different places and others took this time to go home for a short holidays. And for me, you know, I seldom have um, thrice or four times a mass a week. And you know, last week until now, every time I stand up in this, um, in this uh, lectern and read the gospel, I notice that the gospel talks about the light. Jesus as the light. Or maybe this is because that is one of the images that is given to us in this Christmas season. That Jesus is the light. And of course, I will not get fed up <laughs> talking about the light. It's like, you know, every time the darkness sets, we turn on the light or we light a lamp to guide us. And that's the image of Jesus. He was out there, no, to Galilee, a place considered as one of the farthest in the territory no, near Jerusalem. And because of its progress, you know, the people's activities were, or the people's morals were affected by their activities. And some people would say that, well, even they, many of them are Jews, you know, they are very particular in what will they believe in. And sometimes there's a feeling or sense of stubbornness in some of its people. And so Jesus was out there. And the reading for today, the gospel for today, may be considered as another epiphany. Yesterday we celebrated the epiphany. Jesus is presented to us as a child in a manger that his being God, his fulfillment of what was written about him is by means of presenting himself. He was just lying in a manger with Mary and Joseph and yet shepherds, the Magi, recognized him as the one who is to come, the one greater than them. As I said, the Magi yesterday, the Magi were stars in their own rights, and yet they allow Jesus to shine in their means. And today and the coming days, the epiphany of Christ will be represented not only by his presence, but by his actions as he fulfills what was written about him in this case in the reading of the gospel according to matthew it was the prophecy of isaiah that the land of zebulun and land of naphtali the way to the sea beyond the jordan galilee of the gentiles the people in the darkness have seen a great light and those dwelling in a land overshadowed by death light has arisen and jesus performed miracles not only as a show off but also to show people that he's indeed the fulfillment of the prophecy and also because of his heart the heart filled with pity with the people and so here we have listened to a gospel the gospel of also epiphany of Jesus, sort of introducing himself to the world by his action of healing, of caring for the people. And this care, this action of Jesus, of healing, of um, cleansing people possessed by demons, 
are still present in our times. Jesus used other people as instruments of his miracles and his love for all of us. And so by listening to the gospel, may we appreciate what Jesus did in our lives as he presented himself as the Messiah, as the fulfillment of the gospel, and still trust in his ways that he will continue to make himself present in our means through miracles, through cleansing, and of course through the sacrament that we have, like the Eucharist that we are celebrating. And we pray that Jesus may continue to be the light that's shining in the darkness of our lives. Medyo nangangatok na naman ang COVID sa atin. No? And so we continue to ask the Lord that, Lord, be our strength, be our light, 